This two-way Steph Curry build has been absolutely dominant in the rec. I am averaging 23 points on 60% shooting from the three-point line, and I am absolutely killing it. Have you ever seen the absolute filth that I've been able to do right there? Break my defenders down, shot create like it's nobody's business, but at the same time, pass, defend, and finish, making this a complete build. But French Prince 3 has gone on an absolute tirade in the comment section of my previous video, so much so that he's been writing paragraphs, following up calling this build trash, and my guy, there's only one way to find out and keep that same energy. In this video, I'm going to show you my experience through the first five games in Rec, highlighting this specific game against this lockdown defender with a 97 perimeter, 94 steel, 90 speed, and 90 strength. And as you can see, I'm able to do Steph Curry things hit deep range bombs, catch and shoot threes, off the movement, off the catch, contested shots, and hit them with a jumper that's so smooth, you won't even know somebody's defending you. This build is an absolute knockdown shooter, but more importantly, because you're able to get almost any dribble package in the game, you can combo it up with your Steph Curry signature shot creation packages and destroy your defenders off the dribble, off the catch, in transition, as you can see against different types of lockdowns, splitting double teams left and right using one of the best hop jumpers in the game to absolutely destroy any type of defense in this game. And if you're interested in a tutorial for the Kevin Cruz Chef Curry shot creation system, give the video a thumbs up. I'm working my way towards that tutorial. But as you can see, this build at 6-2 is so versatile. It's such a creative and fun build to use. And it generally has no weaknesses because we combine our shot creation game with the ability to pass and distribute the ball, make laser-like passes to our cutting teammates, and be a great distributor as well on top of our ability to shot create. But something super underrated about this build is my ability to be an excellent defender with a lot of strength, a lot of perimeter defense, the ability to contest shots, and at the same time, make some plucks and timely interceptions. This build is a contributor not only on the offensive end of the floor, but on the defensive end of the floor as well. With that said, let's show French Prince 3 what's up by jumping into the wreck where I show you what I do against a 97 perimeter defense lockdown and show you just how cooking the Chef Cruz build really is. So you know how I am man, I am always a good teammate, always looking for opportunities to share the rock and as you can see here, Jimmy Butler finally switched on to me, 97 perimeter, 94 steel, 90 speed and 90 strength. That is a lockdown decide to beat this type of build, but can you see the love tonight, baby? Look at how we cross him up, leave him behind the dust. And French Prince 3, that's for you, baby. But as I mentioned, why we didn't go for a strictly Steph Curry type build is because we want to be able to do things on the floor that contributes to winning other than shooting. And that right there is prime example. Staying on ball, staying locked in, staying engaged on defense and not just letting the lock handle business. And this is a great example right here of a bad stretch of shooting. I missed time three straight shots, especially with rhythm shooting. These are all wide open shots and these are all good shots. So I started the game going one of four. Wasn't the ideal start, but these are all wide open shots and that's important. And that will be important later on. The great thing is my teammates trusted me to still take those shots and always have the confidence that even though things don't go your way all the time is to keep shooting. And once again, this is me being a hound on defense. Is that two illegal screen calls in one quarter? Hell yes. And again, if you are in a tough stretch of shooting, do other things for your team. Play defense, pass the ball. As you can see right here, I'm doing my best to avoid these screens, staying in position to contest. And although it wasn't the best quarter for me, we ended the quarter pretty well, going up there with a one-point lead. So this guy is doing the usual Steph Curry escape into a Steve Francis dribble into a combination of left-right moves, but I'm staying locked in, man. On ball, off ball, I'm staying engaged. As you can see right here, this is this build working to perfection, really countering these skinny small builds. 
And one of the points of French Prince 3 was you don't have to invest in strength. Let me tell you, man, I have game knowledge. I studied this game really well. Strength is one of those essentials I cannot live without. As you can see right here, Jimmy Butler is crowding me out, thinking he has a strength advantage, but the power of Hall of Fame strong handle, as you can see right there, gives me an instant speed boost out of that contact, and bam, just into an easy mid-range fadeaway. And as you can see, this build is a knockdown shooter. And if you didn't watch my video on shot contests, I recommend you do because this was a calculated risk using my knowledge of the contest system to know that this shot would be a lightly contested shot at best. And even though we had a slow start, now things are rolling. I'm contributing on defense, making good passes, making open threes, contested threes. And now to end the quarter, he wants to challenge me into a one-on-one -on -one defensive session. And my word, just look at the filth. Have you ever seen anyone do that to split a double team that way? Yo, French Prince 3, not bad for a trash build as you say, my buddy, right? So we're entering this half with a 30 to 28 lead. As you can see right here, that Jimmy Butler lock is really hounding me on defense. And I now know that they are paying extra attention to me. So I switch from shot creator mode to now playmaker mode. And once again, French Prince 3 criticizing the decision to go with steals and defense when I'm able to contribute on both ends on the floor, which is not a bad thing. And this should have been an easy shot, but hey, the AI flubs that. As you can see, just making the right plays in random rec. Keep that energy going. Keep those passing going. Making sure that you're a good playmaker for your teammates. And with these locks getting over aggressive on defense, picking you up full court, the chef crew system will be sure to bail you out. Once I show you the tutorial on how to use a lot of Steph Curry's animations to guard a lot of the meta defense. So now there are two guys trying to hound me. They clearly do not want the ball in my hands. They'd rather me be a playmaker. And I'm happy to oblige, man. As you can see, so much defense is focused on me. If my teammates move, keep that player movement going, go to their open spots, I'll be sure to hit them, man. This build has been so fun to use, I'm not gonna lie. I missed using a Chef Curry build. I created a Kevin Durant power forward build which performs exactly as I designed it. Primarily for me. The problem is, as a power forward in rec, random rec specifically, you're not gonna get the ball, man. And as you can see right here, once again, I know how defenses collapse and with the attention being given to me, I make sure to be able to pass the ball and sometimes, you know, you just gotta trust the AI. Man, this build has been so fun to use as a shot creator. As a dribbler, I developed a combo system that I'm sure a lot of you guys will enjoy. The jump shot, by the way, is pure. Go check out the build video if you want to see a lot of the six that I'm working with and my jump shot, which is built with rhythm shooting in mind. The new contest and perimeter defense patch did not affect my jump shot at all. It's been smooth. It's been great going up against different guys of different perimeter defense levels. And as you can see right here, if you are locked down, switching onto my Chef Cruz build, stay frosty. He thinks he's got me in a position right here where his strength is dominating. Hell no. The Chef Cruz combo system is immaculate for countering a lot of these types of defenses. And you know, crutch time is Chef Cruz time, baby. I want the ball in my hands, not just to be able to score, but to make the great play. Unfortunately, you know, my, my teammates are not too good on defense. It is what it is. This game is closer than I would like because our teammates are not as strong as a defensive unit. But as you can see right here, the stuff I thought about left stick dribbling applies very much to the wreck. Another clutch shot, bringing that lead up to four again. Full court press me at your own risk with my knowledge of left stick shoot, left stick dribbling and my knowledge of Steph Curry's signature animations. You better make it a point that if you get left behind, the help defense will be right there to help out on your mistakes. But anyway, I'll end this. I'll end with this for French Prince 3. My guy. I don't know what you think you know about the game. I don't even know what you think you know about making builds in this game. I went through a 20 minute video giving you a detailed thought process on why I think this build works for me primarily and how it could work for you. 
or other people who want a similar type of build. It was pretty simple. I even gave you alternatives. I even showed you a clip where I got a Steph Curry shade for a build. It's up to you to design the build however you want. And as you can see, as you can see clearly, the build is working as intended. A quote unquote trash build according to French Prince 3 is dominating in the rec using the combination of attributes, badges, signature animations, and game knowledge that I spoke about in the build video. So if you're gonna hit me up in the comments section talking about how this is a trash build, yeah, you know what? It might be a trash build for you and your skill level or your playstyle. For me, it's a perfectly good build that's able to maximize the way I play, my game knowledge, okay? How I know most people play this game, so maybe it doesn't work for you, but it works for me. And if you think it doesn't work for you, there's nothing preventing you from designing the build the way you want. It's that simple, man. French Prince 3 belongs in the Hall of Shame with guys like Daryl, who I, I suspect, man. I, I've, I've seen how this French Prince 3 comments, and I, I've seen different comments of this nature before. I'm just gonna say, if you're gonna come at the chef, you best not miss hope you enjoyed the video i've been enjoying my runs with the chef crew's build even in random wreck absolutely dominant absolutely destroying the defenses now see you in the next one peace except you french prince 3